so welcome back today we're going to be doing a Star Wars picture and how to add Star Wars pictures to a regular background this is from World War II so I add my background picture which is the uh, bombed out ruins of Berlin now I consider making this bigger and I looks like I go ahead and do it and actually I think I changed my mind at the last minute but anyway I load up my pictures and the next will be my add it if I can find it there it is open that up it'll show up on a different layer or a different uh, window so I'll uh, blow that up then I'll select my paths tool and I'll start going around don't worry about the feet uh, we'll hide all that so I just start going around and this is going to take a long time so I'm going to cut it and we'll get back to it when I'm close to being done alright so yeah pretty amazing there as you can see I'm putting the final touches on it getting all those little cuts in I'm checking it make sure it's all good and I go up to select from paths then I'm going to right click on it and go to edit and go down to cut okay now we can go over to our background scene and right click edit and paste alright I can see already that uh, my picture is considerably brighter than my background so I'll go to colors go to brightness and contrast and I'll start playing with that until I find what I'm looking for ah we're getting there that's starting to look about right right in there so that's all you do is you just play with the colors and try to try to match it up as best you can with your background when you're picking a picture also make sure you know look at the cloud or the, the the lighting look at the shadows the direction of shadow try to pick something that has shadow and lighting that's at least similar to the picture that you're trying to do and that's what I did here so I select my move tool and I put them about where I want him I figure back in there behind the bushes and stuff that'll allow me to hide his feet I'll go ahead and blow that up now see I can use those benches and stuff to hide his feet now I'll go up here to the opacity bar and as you see he disappears more or less and then I'm looking at what I can use to hide his feet over there so So I'll select my eraser tool and I'll start trimming them away. Now I go back and because I, I start looking at it and thinking, you know what? I, well, right there I select my hard brush. But I do go back and reposition him and rescale him. So that's, that's probably the first thing you want to do before you start going and just start trimming is get him to the scale you want him. You see, I go back and undo, undo all that. Okay, I blow it back up because I started thinking about the height of the at at, and I don't think he's quite five stories tall, or maybe right at it. Okay, so I go to my rotate tool, a right click or left click, and tilt him slightly make it look like he's going up that little hill there and go back to my move tool and reposition him
kind of liking that there. Okay, so I'll go to scale layer. Let's right click on the layer and then go down to scale layer. So I take him down a bit, make him a little bit smaller. And now I gotta reposition him again. Now that's looking a little more realistic to me. Indecision, huh? <laughs> Okay, go back to my eraser tool, blow it back up, recenter by using the center mouse wheel button, and I'll reposition him again a little better. There we go. Back to my eraser tool and make him opaque I mean transparent <laughs> and we just start erasing the things that we want in the foreground to show I go on over here zoom way in and we see that those trees are are in front of him so we'll go ahead and make our eraser really small and start erasing the approximate area where the trees are I'll we'll go ahead and make him completely transparent and start with a little bit bigger brush and we can get a little more done. This is just a demonstration so I'm not real worried about the it being totally perfect. <laughs> of course you wouldn't be able to tell that. So yeah, you just go through and erase all those little bits and pieces, everything that you want to show on this side of the ad hat. We'll pretend that's a pole. <laughs> we'll just call that all bush. And we'll also be adding a, a shadow so that the ad ad actually looks like he's really standing there. Now, I could have also done the shadow a lot better, you know, really gone in and zoomed in and done it up smooth and nice, but I didn't. <laughs> I was just trying to get this video out there. But all this just, it gives you the idea so you know what you can do from there. So I'm, I'm kind of liking that. That looks good there. So Yeah, that'll work. I'll go ahead and anchor it. Now you can see it really looks pretty damn good. It looks, looks real good in this picture. I'm going to go ahead and uh, switch to our paintbrush, or our airbrush, put a transparent layer up, and now we'll go ahead and make our brush a little bigger. I usually take it up to about 20, 20-ish, 20 and we'll turn the flow up to 100%, just so we can get it done. <laughs> now, if I was... Uh, trying to do a real good job I would have zoomed way in and uh, followed the path of his shadow a little bit better 
now I'm just doing a rough real rough pattern of, of an approximation of his shadow now when I go and blur this it'll make it look a lot better and we'll turn the the opacity down so that it's more transparent so you can still see the building it's just in shadow so I'm actually using way too big a brush to be doing this I'm not zoomed in so like I said you can take your time with this and really make it look good and actually I kinda wish I had this is a great picture for this and the lighting on the ad at is is almost perfect so we'll do our shadow up like that there rough shadow we'll go ahead and turn the opacity down on it just to give us an idea so okay I already know I need to blur it so I go to filters go down to blur go to Gaussian blur and uh, Let's see, I guess we're going to leave that at 5. And I go ahead, I realize that's not enough. Go ahead and blur it again. 5 it again. I realize, well, that might be enough. We'll go ahead and turn that down. So I'm kind of liking that right there. I think it probably could have gone down a little bit more. You turn that to 50 and it looks like it's really part of that picture so that's it thanks for watching y'all have a good one